read over this. I'm gonna ask you to tell me what this poem's about. You may have already read this poem before, or seen it on a coffee cup, or heard someone from Game of Thrones read it in a car commercial. No, that was the tiger. Take like a minute, read it. Anyone ever read this one? Yeah? This is arguably the most popular poem in the English language ever, more than Shakespeare or anything like that. So, uh, yes, it's quite possible that you did read this already, or even have it tattooed on your back. No? No one's got this? No one's got a back piece of this? Yeah? Okay. Who thinks they know what this poem means? I think that it's about picking the right path for your life. And taking the, the harder route gets you to a better place. Okay. Was that what you were going to say? Okay. Anything else to add to that? I was just wondering how the outcome would have been if you took a different path. Yeah, you could have a slightly different thing there. Should I have gone the other way? But then, like you are saying, he doesn't regret it in a way. It's made all the difference. I mean, that could be bad if you're not happy with where you're at. Okay, anything else? It's like, just one thing to add, it's like, I took the one that was traveled by, so maybe you took, like, everyone's going this way. You took his own path. Yeah, you want to be like Logan Paul, be a maverick, right? <laughs> Blaze your own trail or something like that. That's the most common interpretation of this, pretty much, and you guys all had little bits of it. Anyone else? Or, or would you guys all say you pretty much agree with that? Yeah? You're wrong. You're all wrong. If that was your interpretation. Why are you wrong? So this is where we talk about how the meaning is in the poem. There's two forms of figuring out what the truth is, at the very least here. There's internally testing it and externally testing it. Maybe the author said something about his own work to define it, and then other times people are like, nah, kill the author, I'm gonna make my own meaning out of it but you have to find whatever the meaning is in there and it has to work in the whole context so you have to understand if it contradicts itself somewhere then the meaning's flawed so I'm gonna tell you right now the meaning that you guys said is not here it sounds like it's here but he's actually saying something different and I want you to tell me where how do I know that that's not the right interpretation of this I don't know, I thought he said sorry, I could not take the like if he regrets it or something feels bad about it. And he also said you tell it you decide. So those are two points that people will look to. So it could go towards he actually wishes he could have gone a different path. I'll still say that's that's not the right interpretation either. But both of you guys, good idea. Pointing to things in the text. Oftentimes, we'll already form another idea about it and, and we'll interpret it off of our idea rather than what it's actually saying. And a lot of the ways that we get in arguments or have disagreements are over misinterpreting. So here, look a little bit more closely. There are some clear indicators that none of those are the right meaning. I thought he was talking about like a grave. A grave? Ooh, getting like a metaphor out of this? Yeah. Okay, what do you mean? Equally laying leaves, no step, not trodden by. Okay. Because it was grassy and you wanted wear. Hmm. I mean, sometimes that, that is possible, especially with poetry. There's metaphors everywhere. But this, that might be a stretch with this one. What else? Remember, you, you guys are going to the text. That's good, but you got to find the right thing. See, the thing is with Robert Frost, he intentionally misled people with this poem. And he'd said it later. All the interpretations that you guys gave, he was trying to get you to get that interpretation out of it so that he could laugh at you. What a dick. <laughs> Didn't stop people from putting it on coffee mugs, though. Did he pick the road less traveled? He did. I took the one less traveled. Did he? Huh? Where? What? He just says took the other. He doesn't specifically say that he took the one. No, he says I took the one less traveled. Did he though? Did he take the road less traveled, like he says at the end? Uh, I think it's based on perception because in the third, in the third uh, stanza, there's a, there's an, at the very first one, it says the, that, and both of them weren't equally laid. That means that both of them are the same, so regardless of what you take, they're both going to be the same. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. That is one of the huge ones right there. That first line of the third stanza. And both that morning equally lay. 
What does equally lay mean? There's no difference. There's no difference between the paths. So it's super important that you don't just pull from one spot, right? If you have an argument, you need multiple ways to support it. Anywhere else? Had warned them really about the same. So now we've got two. No leaf had been, no one had traveled those paths that day. He got there early in the morning. They're both the same. Anywhere else? There's one more. Yet knowing how late leads on to win. Knowing that, you know, later in the day something's going to happen and then I'm not going to end up coming back. I mean, that, that could be interpreted differently, right? So there's, there's things that can be interpreted multiple ways and then there's things that there's really only one way to interpret. Like when you say the same or equal. Can anyone look at this? It's just as fair. Just as fair as the other. And he even checked them. He's like, okay, okay, right? So you've got three different points where he, he slips it in there and he buries it with everything else. And then you get to the very last stanza and that's the part that everyone remembers. That's the part that's the back tattoo, right? No one gets the rest of this tattooed. It's all about the last stanza so that you forget all the other information. And notice what he says. I shall be telling it with a sigh someday. Just because he's telling it this way does not mean that's how it happened. Do you know older people, maybe your parents or the one uncle, and he tells you a story and you're thinking in your head the whole time, bullshit, <laughs> right? Did taking that path, that one, make all the difference? No, but it's romantic and it sounds good. <laughs> so that's why later, someday, He'll be telling it with a sigh, maybe patting someone on the back while he tells them how because of the choice he made at this one juncture in life, he's become successful and done all these things and it's made all the difference. So it makes a totally different meaning from it, doesn't it? It shows pretty much how people will bullshit you and comfort themselves even with remembering things differently than they really happened. No, they were pretty, it was pretty much, he's just like taking a stroll that day and he just decides to take this one and that one wasn't different. He's not trailblazing it at all. It's the same path. It's not that he worked harder and went this way that no one else went. Some people do that, but there's also a ton of people who do this and then just lie about it because it sounds good, right? So this changes our interpretation. That's the internal testing, right? We see that it's incongruent with this message that his own words earlier on don't match up with how he's gonna be telling it. But then there's also, you know, he even said that he, he wrote it that way on purpose. So fun stuff, right? We're pretty much gonna do this with everything. Like this class, we're gonna go and look at everything that is wrong with the world not everything, but like a lot of things. However much we can cover in this class, things that are applicable to you, things that you should care about. This is the other thing. You're gonna learn how to read things in a way where you will catch all this stuff. No one's gonna get something past you, hopefully. That's, that's my intent also to teach you how to write. Because this is the thing, if you have an incorrect understanding of the content we're talking about, are you gonna even be able to come to good arguments or conclusions about it at all? No, so this is where we have to start.